a doll. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, over here. Ooh, we're gonna go into a boss battle. Wait a minute, it seems like there's still something in there. I gotta try to get it back. A row of lockers. The doors have all rusted shut. It's here somewhere. There. It's right there. All of these glasses. Ooh. I have to go find what he hid. Well, I was going in there anyway. What a little. Something on the desk. The days pass and our efforts to treat Moon Knight Syndrome continue. Dr. Ibarra's treatment methods have shown some positive results, but they're starting to lose what basis they had in medical science and are increasingly muddled with superstition and folklore. He's putting more and more emphasis on his own ideas in the legends of the island. Frankly, I doubt the efficacy of such methods. I've never even seen such treatments applied to a neurological condition. In particular, the macabre apparatuses he uses are unlike anything I've ever seen used at any other hospital. What I find more disturbing, though, is the bizarre terminology used in this hospital. These are not standard medical terms. For instance, intermediate stage of moonlight syndrome patients present symptoms where they fear their own reflection in mirrors or water. And the folklore of Rigetsu Island's phenomenon is referred to as buddy. Patients may be seeing their own faces reflected as something entirely different, whatever the nature of the symptom. I wish they would call it a hallucination or a phobia, rather than use a proper medical term. The superstitious budding word is used by the infirmary staff on a daily basis. Apparently patients who see a budded face visible only to themselves also bud. Then there's blossoming. I don't know the specifics of the symptom, but I have See the color drained from people's faces at the mere mention of the word. From the sound of it, I doubt it has anything to do with botany. They say that those who see the faces of people with severe cases of moonlight syndrome resonate with them and become afflicted with the syndrome themselves. Is this buddy? Whether, whatever the name for it, how is it even possible for a neurological condition to be transmitted? Before coming here, I wouldn't even have entertain such a possibility, but Moonlight Syndrome may somehow be contagious. On top of all this, I've been asked to make preparations for a rite to be held tomorrow. What kind of procedure it is, I don't know. Had it come to this, the whole affair has left me sick at heart. Somebody with some common sense? Okay, do I need to answer the phone now? Okay, the light on the director's office is lit. Is someone in there? Where are you at?
Two slots are visible. We only got one thing for now. Right. Am I just carrying it with me, I guess? I guess so. Volume upon volume of old books. It must have been used as materials for research, for some kind of research. I got three. I wonder if I have enough now to do things. Nine. Don't blame it. One off. Right. I hate those curtains. I can't see. <laughs> Director's office. Okay. There's a wall. There is. And I can't do anything with that. Not yet. That is the best out of all of them. Like, <laughs> we've never taken a picture that close and good like that. Yeah. He's just chilling. Covering okay. files and old envelopes. Yeah. Notebook of the doctors. I come from an esteemed lineage of head ceremonial priests bearing the honored name of Ibada. I am also the medicine man of this island, and as such have come face to face with this condition known as the modern vernacular as Moonlight Syndrome. In establishing an institution to research and treat Moonlight Syndrome, I have exploited the benefits of medical science while still upholding the teachings of my ancestors. I believe it is my mission to research this baffling syndrome using a fusion of modern science and ancient tradition. Once the people of Argetu Isle use their own means, befitting of their time, to delve into the nature of mind and soul, the masks of the Kagura were one such means. By wearing the mask and hearing the music, the vessel loses herself. The organs' masks allow them to keep their feet steady. The wearing of masks stimulates various different parts of the human brain. This is a fascinating phenomenon that science alone cannot explain. Masks truly are a powerful method to explore the potential of the brain. They open a door for us to explore new territories. And so came to be the ancient, no, the true form of the Rugetsu Kagura, the right of descent. This right provides us with the means to dive to the abyss of the mind. However, the right of descent has been forbidden ever since it brought disaster to the Getsu Island. The legends that tell us of this disaster are terrifying, but in order to conquer Moonlight Syndrome, we must be brave enough to step over taboo boundaries. The moon eclipses but once every ten years. We cannot let this chance escape us. Time is a commodity we sadly lack. There's something through here. I gotta find it. 
Nope. Hey, intercom. Intercom displaying a series of numbers on the desk. Okay. Oh, found it. Oh, there's my blue crystal. Now, what do I want to put it on? No, stop. No, stop it. Okay. I got max power. Increases effectiveness. This is the shots until it's done closer. That's really good. Improves spirits on flashlight recharge time. Oh, I'd have to get three more for that. Stored photo spirit points. Increases points received from. I'm gonna do more max power. Yep. Then the next time I'll do lunar power. I guess I'm supposed to leave. I guess so. Did you see that dance move I just did? Watch out. I did. I could be on Dancing with the Stars. Is that show even on still? It's still on, yeah. It's just started ex shows? starting its new season. Are those like the things that you reach up and you grab and you oh, those are lots. Never mind. Not everything in Charlie, baby. Watch me out! I know, I was thinking that's the way to get up. Uh-oh. Man, staring at all. Assistant Five behind <laughs> you. Get, you, you. Ah, dang it. <laughs> You're getting You're there. right one time. Okay, I'm gonna pause a second, because I gotta restart the share play. Ooh, the box opened with the waxing and one and cards were inserted. The box contains a piece of paper. A serial number of some kind of a riddle are written on it. What? Okay. Twice seven days makes the new full moon. I don't plus one is the key. What? Write that shit down real fast, because I ain't gonna remember this stuff. Cool. Let me take a picture. Where's my phone? Yeah, take a picture. Twice seven days, so that's 14, makes the new moon full. So that's 14, plus one is the key to the square as well. So 15. Because twice seven is days eight is eight. 14, plus one is 15. Yeah. Unless it's one for, unless it's one for uh, one. Yeah, well, 9, 5, and 1 add up to what? 15? Yeah. So, 4, 3, and 8 also add up to 15? Yeah, correct? so it's 15. Yeah, but then there's like a third thing down on the bottom, which is like blank. So maybe it's supposed to be 1, 4, so 1. Some kind of pattern? Yeah. Well, I, I think it all, doesn't it also need to add up to 15? Yeah, that's true. I was hitting on... What? 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 Blue. what? What? Where is this blue at? It's not down there. It's probably on the uh, little shelf roller thing. Is it on the staircase? Huh. This is weird. Yeah. I don't know either. It's right through there. Weird. Do we remember where code was supposed to get put into? I'm assuming the director's office is, uh, intercom? Oh yeah, Maybe. that makes real sense.
Okay. I'm just gonna try one. Oops. No. Nothing happened. Okay. What do you think the answer is? Um, it's the code. Twice seven makes the new moon full. Plus one is the key to the square as well. Plus one. <coughs> uh, what fatal frame game is this? Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. I looked it up. Okay. Don't judge me harshly. <laughs> I didn't want to sit here forever looking at it. The face is stuck full of okay, which bookshelf opened up? Yeah. <laughs> okay, why would you close it? Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense for the blue thing. This is insanity. Like this was behind here. Yep. I want a secret room in my house. That's where I keep my keys. Well, not... <laughs> yeah. Um, of all the methods of treating moonlight syndrome that we have tried to date, the most promising appears to be surgery. Specifically, this treatment involves stimulation of the brain by direct or indirect means. Progress was very slow and difficult at first with much experimentation, but results started to appear and now it seems the day cannot be far when we find a comprehensive treatment method. However, there was recently a case in which surgery seemed successful at first, but unfortunately ended in tragedy. Hmm. The patient initially appeared to recover from Moonlight Syndrome, but rapidly deteriorated with total amnesia and whiteness followed by death. The corpse's face appeared warped and was, of course, harvested immediately. Was this warping the beginning of blossoming? Research into treatment through surgical procedures continues, but blossoming must be prevented at all costs. We must not bring about another disaster like the one spoke of in our legends. We cannot have another day of tranquility on this island. Oh, <gasps> 
We've done pretty good not having that happen. <laughs> Ghost hands me up here when we try to pick up an item. Right. Circle butt. <laughs> What the hell is Director Blobster doing here? I said blah blah blah. So that's his name to me now. Director oh, there's more blah, nests here. Dang. This is some Resident Evil shit. <laughs> I should have went back there and looked for the thing. Summary. If no one remembers something, does that mean it never happened? Riku, another one of the girls who disappeared 10 years previously, comes to the aisle after Masaki and Madoka, Ruka, did I say Riku? Ruka, grew up on the yeah. island, but after the incident, she and her mother left. Ruka has her own reasons for coming here. Ruka wants to, to piece together her lost memories. Why doesn't she remember where she was born or what her father looked like? What was done to her and the other girls? What happened on the island the day they were taken? While exploring Rogetsu Hall in search of the key to, to her memories, Ruka encounters the ghost of Madoka in the room next to the, the Aso Museum. She then looks in the mirror and is greeted with a vision of her own face, warped and distorted. Oh, my God. 